Hi there, this is Patty Sampson, and here's another uh, great tip that I wanted to record for you. Um, someone on Line Desk was asking a question about how to set up uh, recurring reminder tasks in here for uh, for certain things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if you like this video, would you mind coming back and liking my Exposed Agent uh, digital page, digital marketing page on Facebook? Uh, this is where I offer free tips and things, and I also have services uh, if you have at all of any interest in your digital marketing to be seen online. Uh, keep an eye on this, so please like it and you'll get in the loop on all of that. So, uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, anyway, this morning I'm just going to show you how to set up a recurring reminder for yourself. So you might do something like this for, um, you know, at the end of a closing, you want to remind yourself of the anniversary of their closing, something like that. So I'm going to show you actually two different ways to do this. Uh, the first way is just manually. So you have a new lead. I'm just using myself in here as a lead. So um, so you have a new lead uh, or a lead that you want to remind yourself that there was a, re a closing. Okay, let's do that. We'll make it easy. So you go into the lead itself and you're going to go over to add a task. The easiest thing is just add a task. There's a couple spots to do that. You can add a task here. Um, uh, or go down here and add a task down here either way. So if you add a new task, you can already come in here and have preset category set up. I'm just going to put a follow up on this one, but you could put one for anniversary of closing. But instead, I'm just going to put it in the note here, anniversary of closing. Um, call them. So if you want to call and thank them or whatever it is you do, make a note in here. You can put additional notes as well. If you have a team and you want this to be a task to assign to a team member, you can pick that out. I do have a team. You can pick out one of your agents on the list if you choose to. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff doesn't matter right there. Um, how do you want to be reminded? You can choose on here email, call, or text. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put email. Now, this is where it makes it easy for you to remember, and it'll happen every year. If you click on recurring, then you can have it start on a certain date. Now, if you don't really know yet, you know, when they're going to close, then you might want to hold off on this. But if you know they're going to close on the 17th and you want to remember to get this set up, you can go ahead and uh, get it set up here. Now, if this is a reminder to you about the anniversary, you really uh, need to determine how you like, you know, it's going, when, when is it going to start the reminder? So, um, first of all, how often is it going to repeat? So it's probably going to repeat every 365 days. Whoops, 365, right? every year. But when's it going to start? It probably isn't going to start for 365 days um, or whatever day from the date on that. If it starts on that, when do you want it to start? To remind you, you're actually going to say maybe 360. Well, it's going to be from the day it starts on um, May 17th. Um, and you could put 364 days, you know, in case you want to remind yourself the day before. Pick a time that you want the reminder to be sent to you. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 7. And then how often, how long do you want this to go out? Well, at this point, I would probably be saying until you retire. I don't know. I'm just going to put 10 years in here. So this is going to be 10 years. I'm going to be notified every year that this is going to happen. So this just tells you exactly what's going on. On the 16th, I'm going to be notified uh, a year from now, right? Because it'll just remind me that it's due to close and I'll save a new task. Now, this will happen on this every year. Hey, you know, there there's a reminder for you. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is to set it up in like a, you could set it up in a, a, like a drip campaign, I guess, for lack of a better term, to remind you every year and you could have it preset in here every single time. So you could set that up that way. So if we did that, we'd go over to marketing, right? And we want to add a recurring task to happen every single time. So I'm going to actually go over to autopilot drip campaigns and build a, uh, I could build a new one. Um, or I could use one that I already have set up. So if I go to close on a deal, I might go ahead and turn on the Sphere uh, campaign. So I'm actually going to pull up my tasks on my Sphere campaign that I already have written up in here. By the way, I sell all this stuff. If you're at all interested, um, just get a hold of me. But um, I might go into my Sphere campaign and just add the reminder in here. Okay, and this is a great way to do it. As long as I know I'm turning that campaign on every time I close a deal, this is a good example of how you could add it to a campaign or you could build a new one. So I'm going to actually add a new task to this drip. And this one's going to be a reminder to myself, email reminder. Okay, and instructions to the agent is it's been a year since they, let's see, it's, uh, it's your, let's do this, it's your yearly 
reminder of this client's closing. Okay, call them and say hello. Okay, so you say something like that. Just some reminder to yourself, right? Um, it can be signed to whoever. Um, I'm actually, in this case, going to assign it to my user, to assigned users, okay? And um, then timing. How often do I want to go out? Specific date. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put specific date. Uh, actually, sorry, recurring. I want it to re go recurring. And if I turn this on right about the time that it closes, and i got to just be in good habits about doing that, how often do I want it to repeat, right? It's going to repeat every 365 days, right? It's going to start when? Well, if I turn it on the day it closes, then I really want it to start at day 365. This is the reminder for myself, right? Um, so that I can say, hey, congratulations. And this is my reminder, right? So, um, and then it's going to end after how often? So I'm just going to go ahead and put 10 years, you know, or you could put 20 years, I, whatever you want to do. I'm going to put 20 this time. <laughs> so if I'm still working by then, you can shoot me, but uh, add a task. Okay, cool. Now, every year I should get notified when this happens. And you can see now down here that the reminder is built in. It's your yearly reminder of this client's closing. Call them and say hello. So this is built into this. So what's cool about what I just did, this is now part of this campaign. So if you decide you want my campaign, this will be built into it automatically. <laughs> so you just turn this on. Now, how do you turn it on when you have a new closing, when you have a client that you want to know, make sure that they get this uh, notification or they get all the emails that go out with it? I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to go back to myself as my client. And I'll go over to start campaign. Whoops, 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 whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I want to go to start campaign, right? And I'm going to collect the one that, or turn on the one that I want, which is the sphere, right? And I'm going to add, I have the autopilot. So from now on, now I, I'm assuming this is going on the day it closes, right? So I'm going to scroll down. You can see that it's all turned on, okay? And there's just a whole bunch of money, tips and stuff in this. But if you wanted to start up your own, you could just do that by going to marketing and, oops, sorry, over on the marketing side. This is the global marketing over here on the left side. If you're new to if you're new to Lion Desk, anything you want to happen to all to be able to be available for all of your leads, you do it over here. Marketing, then you could go over to um, autopilot drip campaign, and then you can add a new autopilot, and you could call this anniversary autopilot. You know, save new, right? And then I could go down to the anniversary email uh, anniversary and add tasks, right? Add the task to the anniversary. Add a new task and then start from here fresh. So I'm going to add, give myself a reminder and a yearly anniversary email no, or a reminder. A reminder of closing. You can do it that way. And then do everything the same way. Hit recurring, do it that way and build it all up. And then you'll have that pre-built in here and you could just turn that one on separate. Then if you didn't have a sphere campaign, you could just do it that way. So that's an easy way to do it. Hope this helps. Again, if you wouldn't mind, if you like this video, just go over and like my page. You'll see some other tips in here as I'm going along. And uh, again, I appreciate it. Have a great day.